Many of us had never heard of Pittsburgh Squirrel Hill until last weekend. Those that had likely knew it as Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. The gentle and wholesome host of his eponymous PBS program, Fred Rogers lived and died in that community, home to more than 50% of the Steel City's Jewish population. In times of crisis, Rogers often referenced a little bit of advice that first appeared in a column he wrote in 1986. In it, he says the world can seem a scary place to live, especially for children. When he was concerned about world events, he turned to his mother for guidance, and she suggested to look for the helpers. There's always someone trying to help. Rogers found comfort in doctors, policemen, volunteers, and the community at large coming together in times like these. Rogers left us in 2003, but he would be proud of the way we've rallied around the friends and family of the 11 lives stolen from a Squirrel Hill synagogue last Saturday. Muslim American groups have crowdfunded nearly a quarter million dollars in support of the victims' families. A diverse assembly of thousands gathered in Squirrel Hill this week, preaching a message of love and acceptance. We held vigils right here in the valley, where people of all faiths gathered to echo the same sentiment. Even if you don't have a penny to spend or a moment to spare, you can honor those victims too. All you have to do is fill out a ballot. Tuesday's midterm election figures to be one of the most important in the history of the United States. Right now, this country is divided in ways it hasn't been in a long time, or at the very least, our division is amplified by social media to a volume which we haven't heard. As the fallout around the Squirrel Hill shooting has reminded us, no matter our differences, we are stronger together than we are apart. And as Americans, we're bound by our civic duty to vote. This is your opportunity to wield power with a pen. And even if it doesn't feel like it, I assure you, the effects of the ink will last longer than the damage caused by those who choose to swing the sword. We live in a world in which we need to share responsibility, continued Mr. Rogers. It's easy to say, it's not my child, not my community, not my world, not my problem. But you know what? The helpers don't say that. And on November 6th, I hope you don't either.